Welcome to MyTraps. MyTraps is a web and mobile application that makes it incredibly easy to track and visualize data on pest populations in your fields and orchards. Today we're going to talk about the MyTraps dashboard. You can see up at the top of your screen a graph that shows how pest populations in your fields and orchards evolve over time. Down at the bottom you see a, a satellite view of your orchards. Each one of these green boxes represents a trap. The number on the trap represents how many pests were captured during the time interval selected on the graph. So you can see here that we have selected the third week in April, and this particular trap collected two pests on, on that third week in April. I can move the selector to see how the pest populations evolve over time. You can see down here on the graph the numbers on the traps changing to represent the severity of the problem. At the top left of my screen I have a list of pests. In this particular orchard we're tra tracking coddling moth, oblique banded leaf roller, and oriental fruit moth. I can select one particular type of pest, let's say coddling moth, to just see how coddling moths evolve over the course of my growing season. You also see that down on the map view of my orchard, um, only the coddling moth traps are visible. I can do something similar for the leaf rollers to just see those traps and see the trend of, of that pest population, and similarly for oriental fruit moths. On the top right of my graph, I can select how detailed I want my data to be. By default, the week view is selected, and each point on the graph represents one week's worth of data. If I want to zoom out to see broader trends, or to see several growing seasons in one view, I can zoom out to the month view, and now each one of these data points represents a particular month. If I collect data more, than, more frequently than once a week, I can go down to day view. Since in this particular orchard I just collect it once a week, you see one spike for each day that I collected data in this orchard. This red dot represents a pesticide application. You can see the pest population building over the course of the growing season and then drop sharply after the pesticide has been applied. You can add pesticide records in the pesticides tab up at the top of your screen. Recording this data is incredibly valuable because it allows you to see which pes pesticide applications are effective and which are less so. To create a new location, I start by clicking on the My Locations tab at the top of My Traps. This will bring up the Locations Manager. From here, I can click the New button to get started with creating a new location. I'm going to call my new location Orchard D, and I can locate this particular orchard by a number of ways. Um, one, I can enter the address, I can enter the city name, I can enter GPS coordinates, or I can just pan and zoom on the map in order to locate it. In this case, I'm going to use GPS coordinates and I'm going to hit the search button. I'll zoom in so that I have a good view of my orchard. And I'm, when I'm happy with the positioning, I'll hit the Save button. And that's it. I've created Orchard D. I can now close the Orchard Manager and select Orchard D from my drop-down on the left. So here's my brand new orchard that I just set up. From here, I can add traps. I do this by clicking the Add Trap button on the left. When I click Add Trap, it gives me a draggable trap placer. As I drag it, I can see the GPS coordinates in case um, this is useful if you've already tagged your trap locations with GPS coordinates. And I'll place it where the trap is in the orchard. I finish by clicking Done. And now I can select the pest type for this particular trap. This is going to be an oriental fruit moth trap. And I can click on this name to, to rename it. The way that I name my traps is uh, first with a block and then with a trap number. So this is block B 
trap one. And when I'm done, I can click this checkbox. If I ever need to move this trap around in the future, I can click on the trap to expand it and click the move button. Drag the trap to a new place and click done. I can also delete this trap if I choose. So I'll repeat this process for the four traps that are in my orchard. I've set up the first one. Here's the second, and this one's called Block B Trap 2. It's also Oriental Fruit Moth. And I'll do this for the two remaining traps. And that's it. I've set up four traps in my orchard. So now that we've set up traps, we can go ahead and add data for them. We do that by clicking the trap data link up at the top of the screen. That'll bring up a grid view for us where each of the rows is a trap and each of the columns is a date. So I'm looking at one week right now between August 18 and 24. And I can click on uh, the Wednesday, which is the particular day that I entered the trap data. Uh, for this orchard every week is Wednesday. So I'll enter a 3, a 4, a 2, and a 1 for the final trap. And now I'm going to go back and enter data for the last several weeks. So I have a slider up at the top, and I can move that to the previous week, click on the Wednesday, and start adding data. So 5, 3, 2, and 1. And I'll do that two more times. So go to the Wednesday of the week of the 4th, and I'll enter the data that I collected on Wednesday, and then the week of July 28th, and I'll do the same thing. Once the data is entered, I can hit the Save button up at the top, and then close my trap data window, and you'll see that the trap, that the map, and the graph update to reflect the new data that I just entered. We can also enter data from our mobile app. You can download the iPhone app at the App Store, and also we have an Android app available on Google Play. Once you download the app, you log in with the same credentials that you use on the website, and then you're presented with a list of your orchards. So we'll select Orchard D, and now we see the traps that we just created and the data that we entered in them, the data for this week and the two preceding weeks. So for the second trap, this week we've entered four pests, and we'll enter an additional five. Hit save, and now we see the total of nine pests that we entered this week. Those are the basics of my traps. Thanks for watching. My Traps is available at mytraps.com. We offer free accounts for up to ten traps if you'd like to evaluate the product. In addition, if you have any further questions or ideas for features, please let us know. We're always improving the product, product and adding new things. If you have a large amount of data that you'd like help importing, then also please let us know. We'd be happy to help with that. Thank you again for your time.